Hello Gemini, thank you for joining me again. It's Sandra from Wolf Moon Tarot. This reading is going to be from the 4th of May to the 10th of May, but whenever you watch this reading, that's the right time for you. Timing is fluid, so we can't actually pin pin the reading down to any really spe real specific time. I have already meditated, meditated um, on your sign, Gemini. Um, and I've done a pre-shuffle. We have two cards that have jumped out. Um, and one is about release. So this is about the ending of um, a phase or a situation and, ready to, and, and a transformation. Um, and then the Queen of Earth, which is the Queen of Pentacles, which is about um, dealing with challenges, um, dealing with any challenges coming forward, um, being understanding um, with those um, around you. So just do a little bit more of a shuffle. If you want to skip this part of the reading, that's absolutely fine, um, Gemini. Gemini, let's see what the energies have selected for you as important to um, explore at this time. Well, we have the Six of Earth, which is about um, give and take. It's about um, balancing the scales to do with money. Um, perhaps this could be to do with perhaps um, new career opportunities. Um, and it is about receiving and giving. It's those sorts of energies. All right, so that's at the heart of your reading, which is which is a lovely um, energy to have. And there's your expectations are being succeeded. Um, ex I can't talk. Your expectations are being exceeded. Um, something is being very successful. Um, what you may have expected at this time is 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 being surpassed. Whatever that is, and it's it, it's around um, giving and receiving of time. Uh, effort and, and perhaps money for some people. Um, and then we have the Justice card, which again is about balance. So we've got two cards that are about balancing the scales. So it's about balancing what's coming in, what's going out, getting that sense of balance. Um, it's also um, with the Justice about, you know, doing what's right, um, doing the right thing, which is very important to you, Gemini. Right, so that's at the heart of your reading, which is really lovely. Um, the challenges to this are the page of water or the page of cups. Now, this is about um, it could be it's a, it could be a new love of some sort coming into your life, um, or it could be about a relationship that's going into a new phase, going on to a new level, if you like. It's also about heightened psychic abilities the page of water the page of cups is um so take it how it resonates with you but, but this is definitely something new um or something deeper um happening around you at this time and then we have the letting go so just surrender to it go joyously with it surrender to the flow go with the flow go with the ebb and flow to do with this don't don't fight it and here we have the two of cups so it's a very romantic card it's about you know the two people sharing offering their cup of love to each other sometimes this can be about parts of ourselves that come together to create a more meaningful whole of ourselves um so take it how it resonates with you but these are proving to be somewhat some challenges to the earth cards um and other things that you are doing 
Um, all right, so we have sort of, um, I don't know, uh, the earth is about career money, um, what we have, abundance, um, and something is being very successful as you balance the scales. But then the challenges to that are about the love, the love and perhaps family part of your life. So they're the challenges. Um, they're the balances you have to make. Now, at the root of it, something about a great sadness. Um, something has broken your heart. Um, you need to forgive perhaps others. Um, it says on the card it says about forgiving yourself, but you know, take it how it resonates with you. But something, something has has, has caused great sadness with you in the past. But that's at the root of this situation. Um, embrace the future as you walk forward. Embrace the future with an open heart, Gemini. Um, and being stuck in this is the Four of Cups. This is where. Um, we have opportunities coming in, but we can't see them. We're, the lady's stuck inside looking at the rain. And obviously a lot of us have been like that, haven't we, with this uh, global lockdown. Uh, but all the cups are still there. They're, they're not, not gone. Um, it's just that we were stuck inside at the, at the moment. But this is the root of the matter, remember. So what's the past leading to the current situation? It's the seven of fire. So this was something about defending your beliefs and decisions, standing your ground, but also choose your battles wisely, Gemini. Look deeper into a situation. Um, and this is what you have done. You've looked, you're investigating, you're looking deeper into something to find the meaning of it. Um, and the uh, Nine of Cups, which is about wish fulfillment, something being successful, something to celebrate. All right, so that's the past leading to the current situation for you, Gemini. Uh, what's on your mind? We've got the Nine of Water, which is the Nine of Cups again. So the Nine of Cups was in the past. Um, this is what's on your mind. So this is about wishes coming true, um, concern, concerns starting to fade away, and, and having a general overall love, love of life at this time. Um, me hearing messages from spirit, um, and you're a very good clear channel for messages from spirit, Gemini. So these are coming through thick and fast for you at this time. Um, and also the ending of, this is the world card. So this talks about the um, end of a situation, um, the end of something, a completion of something, um, and but getting ready now to go forward into the next stage, into another phase. So this is what you're thinking about at the moment. So what's your power um, in this at the moment, um, Gemini? Well, it's the Major Arcana, it's the Moon card, uh, and this is talking about um, psychic insights, um, but it's also about what that what we know and that what we don't know. So if every if you if you're fearful about something, that when the Moon card comes out, it's it's encouraging you to release any fears that are holding you back from something. Um, whatever that is. So this is in your power, the moon card. It's a lovely card. Um, and then it's about taking action, um, you know, about going forward, embracing what life has to offer you. And it has, it's got lots of possibilities. So this is connected to the moon card. Um, this could be in the area of psychic abilities. It could well be. Um, but take it how it resonates with you, Gemini. It will be different for a lot of you. Um, and then we have the Four of Pentacles, which is about holding on to what that which is important to you. Don't lose sight of what you've got, what you value. Um, and don't allow that with all of this happening. Um, don't, don't, um, you know, hold on to what you hold dear. Don't uh, put that at risk. Don't put anything at risk, Gemini, as you go forward. Um, and, the, and in your environment, we have the wheel, Archangel Michael, another uh, major arcana. So this is about positive movement forward. The wheel is turning in your favour. So a situation is going to go forward quite quickly and suddenly. It's going to reveal radiance. This is the pearl uh, that illuminates the world. So this, the, the, the shell has opened up and there's this beautiful pearl of radiance. So as you go forward, this as the wheel of fortune goes forward, it's going to reveal something around you that um, is, is, is quite beautiful. Remember, this is in your environment around you. 
Um, but there's also something about um, having to make a decision between two um, opposites, if you like. So this shows the, the, the men crossing swords. Um, but this is about a difficult decision that, that, that is having to be made. But this is in their environment around you, remember. So what are your hopes and or fears? Well, one of them is the five of earth, which is about worrying about money, worrying about income, if you like, uh, uncertain self-employment. Um, so that, that's what that card is saying. That's probably a fear of yours. But it's saying about her, open your heart up, open you, open up to love. Um, and this is in your hopes and fears. So perhaps this is what you're hoping for, for your heart to be able to open up completely to love. It's on a bed of gems, look, on, on its way. And we have the wheel, which is again the wheel, but on in this, which is about going forward. Um, but in this deck, it, it shows the wheels come to a bit of a standstill. It's been rolling, but it's come to a standstill. So that's perhaps, um, it may be a hope, it may be a fear of yours about nothing moving at this time. And it's connected to fears around money. Um, but remember, you, the, the, the heart is in the middle of that. So something to do with something that you love. And... Then the outcome is the nine of air, which is the nine of swords. And this is about worrying, something that is worrying you, um, expecting the worst, um, sleepless nights. The only problem is when we get stuck into this energy is we can almost start to create that reality, whatever we're worrying about. So, um, so the clarifier for this is about simplifying your life, you know, declutter get rid of that what's no longer needed but it's about cherishing the simple things in your life and you know i know many of you do jeb and i but it's not forgetting about that as we're worrying at this time it is a worrying time for a lot of people gemini you're not on your own and then we have the ten of wands which is the you know you need to drop you've got a lot of responsibility a lot of burdens you're carrying and you're carrying them up uphill so this is about when this card comes out it comes out just before you are ready to drop that burden that responsibility whatever that is remember it won't resonate with every all gemini's but there will be quite a few that that will understand what this is saying to you all right so um finally What's coming in, in for you, um, Gemini, um, in the near future or, or within the next few weeks? We have another major arcana, and this is about renewal. This is the judgment card in Ordinary Tarot. So this is about um, evaluating, reviewing. It's a time you can able to review and evaluate the situations. Um, look at what's been going well. Move, start time to move in a new direction all right so uh, this is a good time to do this to make sound judgments so look at what's gone look at where we're going look at where we are now all right and there we've got the, the family there that's looking at um archangel jeremiah um the clarifier for this is about being in the flow go with the flow um, I think this is the second card that's come out that encouraging this. Go with the flow of the universe, of the universal energies, wherever they are taking you. And the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles finally is a lovely energy. She's very close to the Empress energy, benevolent, giving. She's got all this money. She's very good with money. She can earn money. She's very creative, but she shares also. So um, lovely energy to finish on. Um, Gemini I hope this reading has resonated with you Gemini um, please like and subscribe if you would like notifications for future readings from myself thank you ever so much for joining me um, today good luck going forward um, take care bye bye